Controversial and dying again. All right. Uh, today's lesson is a uh, little bit of challenging. It's got a lot of different things that we're going to talk about. And one of the things it, we're, that uh, is, uh, how would I say, we didn't have this in our culture. Now we do. And it's time, you know, the time of the day and whatnot. So that's what I'm going to be discuss, uh, talking to you about this morning or this afternoon or wherever, whenever it may be for you. All right. And um, so we have this item, household item. Well, it used to be in the household. Now it's everywhere. It's on our, on our phones and everything. And this item is called Dabi Swan. Okay, Dabba comes from the word to measure something. Gis comes from the word Jesus, the sun. Wan makes it an object. So it's, a, it's an object that measures the sun. And that's as close as we came up with, with what a clock or a watch does. Okay, so Dabi Swan is a clock. Dabi Swan S is a watch. <clears throat> now there was a term w which it's not being used anymore. There used to be a term uh, that I used to hear when I was a child but nobody uses it anymore and I asked my grandpa one time I said what what's the difference uh, with those, this word Anish Epichok okay now some of you older people like me uh, probably heard that word before but it's not being used anymore we use some other words, okay? Anish Epichok actually is a measuring of distance, is what I was told. Anish Epichok ode bidasge minam an pi nam netgong. Wa magen sogun jimaning niugun masseng. So it's uh, you're saying it's a from one place to another, it's maybe three days by water, by a canoe, four days walking. Okay, so, so that's what we have for now there. Okay, now we didn't have days of the week either, like we do now, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, uh, and earlier on in our, in the, in our history, uh, there, we did create days of the week, but they were more uh, religious than anything, okay? So we didn't have days of the week, but we did have terms like the last few days, if you wanted to say the last few days, Gabim Mesek, the next few days, Wanim Mesek, okay? We use those, but uh, that's as close as we can come. <coughs> Now, if you wanted to know uh, words like yesterday, uh, today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, okay, those are on a lesson I already uh, created for you. It's on the lesson of Bashkakudin Yeezus. That's where I list all those types of days. So check it out, okay? You know, and it's really something that, uh, you know, you look at our lives the way we in our culture, we, uh, we ate when we were hungry, we rested when we were tired, we slept when we were sleepy. So, you know, there wasn't really no uh, time like that. Okay, now I'm going to give you some names uh, that you can use, like for your, name your children or, or something like that, some names. Uh, dawn, the first part of the morning, dawn. Pidabun. Okay. Dusk. Or sunset, pengishma. Okay, uh, morning star. We have wabnang. Evening star, the big nung. Noonday, nakwegijik. Okay, there's a family of these uh, nakwegijik in uh, on on uh, Ukwemkung First Nation. There's families of them. Now, if you wanted to say things like all day. Kabegijik, all night, kabed the bek, okay. <clears throat> one day, gogijik, one night, go the bek, okay. 
first part of the day, okay? Shkigizik. First part of the night. Shkidbek. Okay? The last part of the day. The, some people say the greatest part of the day. Shpigizik. Last part of the night. Okay? Shpidedbek. All right? So we have all these terms. Okay, now I'm going to uh, give you uh, another one. What we had the four parts of the day, okay? Morning, afternoon, evening, and nighttime, okay? <clears throat> so, if you wanted to say, it is morning, okay? You say, kijep. At morning, kijep agong. It is afternoon, okay? Shkwanakwe. At afternoon, shkwanakwek, okay? It is evening, nakshe. At evening, nakshik. It is night, nibadbekat. Okay. At night, nibadbekak. Okay. So the, the, there's an ending there that is very definite. Okay. Now, if you wanted to say what time is it to somebody, this is the way it's said now. Okay. Weganesh and Sadabaganeg. Okay. Or if you wanted to say when, you would say Weneshpi. Okay. All right. Now listen to you very carefully here because this is where it, it the it is and at plays a, a a real big part here in the sounding of our words. Okay. Can't be sloppy. Okay. So it is noon. Okay. Na kwe. At noon. Na quek. Okay. It is one o'clock. Good bugnet. Okay, so it ends with a T. Now listen to how it sounds at at one o'clock. Good bugnet. It ends with a K. So those are the difference. Okay, I'm going to go down the list here. Okay, it is one. It is two o'clock. Sorry. Nijo de bugnet. Okay, at two o'clock. Nijo de bugnet. All right. Um, somebody asked me, well, do we have like minutes? Do we have 15 minutes? Do we have 20 minutes or half an hour? I'll only go to like half an hour on these because not today, <laughs> but it, when I teach the, these words, because they're so long. And by the time you get finished with what your, what time it is, it changed. The time changed. Okay. So it is three o'clock. So the bug net. Okay. At three o'clock. So the bugganek, okay, it is four o'clock. Niwo the bugganet at four o'clock. Niwo the bugganek five o'clock. It is five o'clock. Nano the bugganet at five o'clock. Nano the bugganek six o'clock. It is six o'clock. Ngodwa so the bugganet at six o'clock. Ngodwa so the bugganek, okay. Seven o'clock, Nijwa so de Buganet. At seven o'clock, Nijwa so de Buganek. <clears throat> it is eight o'clock, Chwa so de Buganet. At eight o'clock, Chwa so de Buganek. Nine o'clock, Jean so de Buganet. Okay, and at nine o'clock, Jean so de Buganek. Okay, and 10, at, it is 10 o'clock, Da so the bugganet. At 10 o'clock, Da so the bugganet. It is 11 o'clock. Now, this is said two different ways. Both are correct, okay? Da so shabejit the bugganet. Another way to say it, Da so the bugganet shabejit, okay? All the words are still in there. They're just mixed up a little bit, okay? Doesn't change the time. At 11 o'clock. Da so shabejik debugganek. Okay. Midnight. Up ta cut. At midnight. Up ta cuck. Okay. And uh, so those are a few things that I've uh, been working on for the last few days about time. Okay. And so, you know, I wanted to educate you on, on time. And this is what we use in uh in our classroom
So move that around, okay? And that's about it. I hope you learned something about time today. Miigwech gabzindoyek, wingezik sanang.